Hello everyone, this is Miss Brit Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and another demo video. Today we are playing Espresso Tycoon. Espresso Tycoon, the future of tycoon games is here. The sound of the coffee machine, the unique aroma of coffee grounds, and your own cafe. Jump into a world full of hardcore management, picky customers, and fierce competition. Build your coffee business from a small place into a whole empire so this is by dreamway games um there is no date that's been announced so um i don't I, I can try to look and maybe put it below if i can find it but i haven't seen it but this is another demo i am doing as part of the steam next fest um if you don't know it's like a demo series and i forgot to mention in my last video but in the below description there will be a link to all the videos that i am doing demos of during this uh next fest so it's another one of those games that i've been just, like stupid excited for um hearing about it so yeah let's get into it let's play tutorial or play demo mission i feel like we can do tutorial hopefully it's exciting hey are you new here then you must love coffee i've been in this business for more than 20 years now i keep on forgetting how long it was when i started anyway let's begin my marketing specialist, Joanna, led me in on some secret info. This neighborhood is full of tourists. Why don't we create a brand for them? Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm, let's see. Oh, okay, I clicked. It says create a brand for tourists. Your goal is to make a popular brand for tourists. Customize the brand using the editor to the left side of the screen. Okay. So we have icons here. So we can do, oh, look, 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 look. It's showing up up here. So we have the coffee cup or the bean or that or the beans uh hmm honestly really honestly i like the two beans so let's see i can get back is it gonna loop around or is this like endless um oh there we go i like the two beans let's do that the font almond cream Ooh, I do like that font though. Let's call this Breeze Beans. <laughs> All right, so almond cream. Ooh, I like that one. Nope. Nah. Nope. Nope. Yep, let's go with almond cream. You know we got to do blue. You know we got to do some blue. So let's do that one. Oh gosh, wait, the colors matter? Whoa. So if we keep it here and switch to blue, we lose business customers. We lose techies. But we gain students. I think we gain some kids. Yeah, wow. Well, let's just do it. So our brand is going to be, um, we're going to attract students. That's fine. What did I do wrong? Oh, do I have to click show me how? Because it says close the brand thing when you're done. Okay, well, I guess show me how. <laughs> Use the arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change the brand name. Observe how the market reacts. Oh, if I change the name, does that wait? Did the font do it too? Typeface. Oh, you know what? Hold on. It does. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, so it it wants me. It wants me to do ballet harmony. You see how it's how I can't click this. Oh, your brand has to be liked by tour. Oh, I get it. Okay. I get it. Right now it's neutral, but this one puts me in the green with Taurus. Okay. I get it. Oh gosh, that's nasty. Wow. I'm surprised you listened to my advice. What a perfect brand for Taurus. I bet they'll come to your place like bees to honey. Now let's learn how to navigate around the scene. All right, so let's start the chapter. Use the keyboard to move around. All right, so move up, move down, left, right, and then rotate the camera left and right. How do I do that? Show me how. <laughs> okay, I'm doing that. Yep, did that. 
did that rotating. Use the arrows in the P or O, okay, to rotate. Gotcha. And then this is to move the mouse with the cursor, that's fine. And then checking the basic stats. Click the icons at the top of the screen, hover over them to see their description, okay. That's fine. So P and O to rotate, okay. Cool. Great. That's how you move around using the strategic camera. It's also a cinematic mode that gives you much more flexibility. Try it. All right, so let's just see if we can try it ourselves. Just switch to the cinematic mode. All right, so what would I be looking for to do that? I wonder, camera reset. I'm trying to see, oh, here we go. Switch to, oh, shortcut tab. Okay, let's try that. Okay, I like it. Enter coffee shop mode in cinema cinematic mode. Okay, I don't know how to do that. In cinematic mode. Yep, that's not very, uh... Yep, not intuitive. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> let's just go. Okay, we did that. WASD, yep. Looking around, yeah. Changing field of view, yep. Oh, should I have scrolled in? Resetting the camera? Strategic camera. Yep, we know that. Okay, so is it like this? Am I supposed to like go into the coffee? Yep, okay, that's what it was. I was supposed to zoom in. Look around in cinematic mode. Okay. Reset the camera position. That's up here. Switch to strategic. Yep. Okay. I'll admit, this really good um tutorial. Like, I'm, I'm glad that they focused on tutorial. Great, now that you're familiar with the camera movement, let's do some actual work. This coffee shop has potential, but it looks like a stinky, dirty warehouse. Let's start by getting rid of the rubbish and these sheets covering the workstations. All right, so remove all the rubbish. Let's see if you know how to do that. So if I click on it, okay, it removes it, cool. It would have been nice if like somebody, um in here doing all this stuff you know the coffee shop looks much better without all the mess doesn't it it still looks a bit neglected though let's change that by repainting the walls and the floor i wonder if like you get multiple coffee shops like if this is just maybe a starter that would be cool so it's starting the decoration chapter open a decoration window here we go change floor all right so we have this floor rough pine Wood, cave checker. I wonder why we, oh, this item has, oh, you can research stuff. This item hasn't been researched yet. That's cool. Um, I guess let's go with the rough pine. It's gonna cost me like six, did it tell me here how much? No, it's gonna cost me like 555 bucks or something. The operation will cost you, yep, that's fine. And then change the walls. Can I, uh, how do I, I don't know how to pan. Oh, well, okay. Walls. We can do brick or plaster. Guess let's go with the brick. It'll cost me 285.60. Cool. Awesome. It still smells of fresh paint or rather stinks like crazy. At least the coffee shop looks neat and will hopefully attract some customers. Although it's still a bit empty, let's buy some furniture. The open decoration window, right? Have two tables. All right, so I'm thinking I want, didn't mean to do that. I wanna do two tables over here, like in front of the window. So can I do categories? Yep. Tables. It looks like I can do the romantic table or aluminum table. That's whack. I guess let's do this table. Ooh, I can put the color. You know what would be cool? If I want black. If like the color even mattered, you know? Let's do like right up against the window. Uh 
Maybe like there and then here. And then four chairs, seats. All right, let's just do black. Uh, one, two, uh-oh. How do I rotate? Oh, there we go, okay. I'm holding the mouth down to rotate. Here we go. Great, now you know how to buy decoration items. Sometimes you may want to rotate them, move them around with more precision, or even sell them. Try doing all of that now. What? Open the window, rotate item. All right, well, I just did that. So rotate, okay. Move an item without snapping. Ooh, okay. Let me try to guess. Is it shift? Nope. Is it alt? Yep. <laughs> you play enough games, you can figure this stuff out. Sell decoration item. Maybe I sell this one. Ooh, how do you sell? Is it S? Nope. Is it Q? Okay, no, I'm not gonna know. I'm not gonna know how to do that. So let's go ahead and just look at this. <laughs> all right, so it's all selling. Okay, down there, okay. So let's sell item. Oh, you click that first, sell item, and then you click the item, okay. Close decoration window when done. What if I want my chair back? Give my chair back. Give my chair. Close. Awesome, your place looks nice, but it's still a bit too quiet. Let's put on some music. All right, so open decoration. Have one jukebox. All right, so I'm gonna assume, is it special? Yep. And I actually wanna put it over here. Uh, rotate it. Yep. I want to put it like right there. Close it and then play lounge music. So I can click on it. Jazz lounge. That's music to my ears. I love it. Well, in this business, I actually started to like all music or rather tell people that I love their choice a lot. But I guess the customers won't be coming to listen to your excellent music choice. They will come to get <clears throat> coffee. So let's create a menu. All right, supplies. Add coffee to your menu. Just so click the menu icon and add some recipes to create your coffee repertoire. Uh, all right, so open the menu window. Is that this? Yep. Add espresso to the menu. All right, so wait, can I just click it? Nope, I gotta do. I don't, I don't think I meant to do that. Add it to the menu. There we go. Okay. I don't think I, don't think I meant to do that. And add flat white to the menu. You've added two basic coffees to your menu. However, some customers may be a little more picky. They may want to drink something more unusual. Let's learn how to create your own custom coffee using the coffee editor. Just so detailed. Open the coffee editor. What is that? Okay, menu, uh, employees, research, marketing, supplies. Okay, I don't know, so let's go ahead and go here. Oh, okay, create new coffee. Okay, that's what it is. All right. Hello? Here we go. Create new coffee. Ain't that what they wanted? Create, oh, create and save your own coffee. Okay, so I actually have to do this. Okay, okay. So we're in the cup selection. So we do want that cup. This is cool, y'all. This is dope. This is dope. Um, I like this one. I like this cup. Let's call it Breeze. Uh. Special. Oh, we can't. Oh, it's not. Oh, man. It's too much. Oh, it's called Bree Special. That's fine. That fits. Bree Special. Okay. So we need to make sure, I guess, that tourists want it. 
So let's go to coffee layer. Okay, base. Espresso, hot water, or cold water? If we do espresso... Wait, that just put all... Oh, gosh. I, I didn't know I was putting out of stock. What? Ew, how do I reset? Reset it. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? How do... Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Phew. All right, so if we do espresso, the tourist one doesn't move. If we do hot water, the tourist one doesn't move. If we do cold water, it doesn't move. So the, the espresso doesn't matter. Let's just do espresso. Now for the milk. We can do cold milk or hot milk. So if we do cold milk, it goes up. If we do hot milk, it goes up. So maybe let's go with the hot milk. I, I prefer it. <laughs> Let's try vanilla syrup. The tourist did not care for vanilla syrup. Like it didn't even move. The tourists aren't gonna want my daggone coffee. He said they'll want if they don't find anything better. So I need to really, I would I would need to research more things. You know what I'm curious about? What if I did the cold milk? Oh wait, no. Wait, where'd my espresso go? What if I did base cold milk and vanilla syrup? Nope, they didn't care. They didn't care. All right, so let's take that out and let's just do the hot milk. Yeah, okay. We can't do anything else. All right, Uh, and latte art isn't on here and then whatever this is will be coming soon i find any this needs hot water look at this no it could be it could be an espresso shot with vanilla syrup and hot milk yeah it's done that's what it is it's the breeze special and then add it to our menu okay okay look at that menu in order to prepare your coffee you'll need some beans water filters milk and takeaway cups let's order them all right so open a supplies window that's up here i remember seeing that Order coffee beans. Okay. Uh, what does this mean? Increase priority, increase priority, decrease priority. Okay. The quality of this one is no stars. So I'm going to go with Dreamway beans. This is so intense. I don't want one unit. What does this mean? Like, what is this? Like, is it just, it's better if I ordered like 10 units? And I guess I have to do instant delivery. That's fine. Order water filters. Okay. Order. Yes, I'll just order maximum. Order milk. Ingredients. Yep, just milk. Uh, Let's just order maximum. It's the demo. We don't care. <laughs> and order takeaway cups. All right, order, and then let's order 10 of those. It's a buy their order. Now you have to wait a bit. It's the 21st century, so the drone fleet will carry the delivery. In our world, people are okay with drone delivery. You get it? I guess. All right, collect the package. You have to go to supplies to collect them. Supplies. Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's just show me how. Oh, I have to go outside. I have to go outside. We're outside. Uh. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, click to collect. All right, great. Now you have coffee on the menu and supplies in stock. It seems you're ready to go, but who's gonna make the coffee? Let's hire a barista. 
All right, so we're starting the chapter on employees. Open the window for employees. Hire the first employee for the position barista. All right, so we have here Rachel White. She's 24. Um, she's introverted and she has three years seniority. All right, so let's just hire. I should look at the other information too. Congratulations, you just hired your first employee. He will rob you of your money quickly. Now you need to set his or her schedule. Really? And it's a she. Uh, okay. It's not in the schedule. Okay, let's look at this real quick. So it tells you your shift. Okay, higher. It tells you the shift, how they make coffee, their milk, their art. Oh, okay, so I wonder if you can maybe train this stuff or does it only come with, um, like, you know, like when you hire them, you know? And their salary, that's cool, okay. Uh, open the window schedule. All right. So is that this? Yep. Set the first schedule for an employee in the position barista. All right. Drag, drag to set schedule. Oh, uh, what time is it now? It's not. Oh, it's the night time. Uh, so maybe I want them to work in the morning. So can I schedule her for six to two? Yeah. I guess. Six to two. And then should I fast forward the morning? I think. Oh, this is slow. This is the most fast forward I could do. Can I do like an earlier schedule? Uh, like, let's do 1 a.m. <laughs> 1 to 9 is their schedule. that at least get them to show up uh, sooner than later. A few more, 30 more-ish seconds. And I'll go ahead and hit play. All right. And then gameplay, the best part. <laughs> I think you're ready to open your first coffee shop. Let's do that. All right, open the shop. Uh, how do you do that? Click the end. Okay, let's click the entrance sign. Okay. Um, you can close it the same way. Alternatively, you can use the coffee shop window to do that. Okay. All right, let's click the sign. Open. History is being made here. You just opened your first coffee shop. Doesn't it feel amazing? I wish I could feel your emotions right now. Anyway, let's sell the first coffee and make some money. All right, so one coffee. All right. I may help you, ma'am. We oh, order Bree special. Congratulations, your first customer has bought a coffee. You will be rich. Well, maybe after selling millions of them. But was the coffee good? Fortunately, you can use the mind reading device to find out what your customers think about their coffee shop experience. It's very important. Each review impacts your rating point. Okay, so click on any customer inside the coffee shop. Positive. The price of Bree special is very affordable. Awesome. Not available in demo, but you can do uh, the person editor and in stats. They're a techie. Justine Allen, 19, waiting for their order. They're satisfied. You can follow them. Oh my gosh, you can see their Beanstagram post. That is so cool. And I can offer a discount. That is so cool. Tutorial completed, back to menu. Okay. Well, awesome. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here because I think the tutorial kind of, you know, shows you what at least the, um, you know, type of gameplay features is gonna be like. I will contemplate coming back maybe and doing the, um, the demo mission, um, but that'll probably be uh, like in a day or two because I do want to get some other demos out. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But if you really want to see the demo mission, then comment below and let me know. And if I get enough people that say they want to see it, then I'll do it sooner. But thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying it. I like the detail. Once again, another good one where it's micromanaging, but not too much micromanaging. Um, I just love games like that. But yep. So let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If I see more, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.